I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some test questions. This one is on complex numbers. Question is, form a quadratic equation with integral coefficients whose roots are 7 minus square root of 5i and 7 plus square root of 5i. Now we're given two roots, we need to find the quadratic equation. Well, generally, quadratic equation is written as ax square plus bx plus c. But as you know, we can also write quadratic equation as x square plus, I should write minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. So we'll use this property of quadratic equation. We can say this is equal to zero or we can say this is equal to zero, right? So that becomes our quadratic equation when the roots are given to us, correct? So let us find the sum of roots now. We are given the roots which are seven minus square root five y and seven plus square root five. So the sum of these roots is seven minus square root five i, this is the first root, plus seven plus square root 5i. Roots will always be in conjugate pairs, so these are correct, right? So when you add them up, you get 7 plus 7 is 14, right? Minus 5i plus 5i is 0, so the sum is 14. Now let's find the product. So product in this case is equals to 7 minus square root 5i times 7 plus square root 5i. So when you multiply, you get this is sum and difference, right? So we can apply the second formula, which you know, which is a square minus b square is equals to a plus b times a minus b, right? Now here we are given a minus b times a plus b. It should be a square minus b square. So it is 7 square. Let me write here 7 square minus square of 5i, right? That gives us, let me write here, 7 squared is 49 minus 5 square root squared is 5 and i squared. Now as you know, i squared is minus 1. Substituting that, we get product as 49 plus 5, correct? Okay? Since i squared is minus 1. So we know sum and product and now we can write down the quadratic equation. We need to write with integral coefficients, right? Remember that part. So the equation will be x square minus sum, which is 14 for us, 14x plus the product, which is 49 plus 5. Let's write this as 53 first. So it is 53 equals to 0. So that becomes our quadratic equation, which will have roots as 7 minus square root 5i plus 5 plus square root 7i. I hope you appreciate this step. This is 54, I'm sorry. 54, okay. So, 54. Okay, so that is our final answer. So, this is one way of doing it. The other way is kind of lengthy. You could also adopt this approach, x minus the first root, which is 7 minus square root 5i, that is the first factor, times x minus the second factor, which is 7 plus square root 5i. You can expand them, simplify, and do the needful to get the answer, right? But I appreciate this particular approach. And let me clearly write down my answer now, right? So the answer here is, let me write down the answer, which is x squared minus 14x plus 54 equals to 0, right? I hope that helps. Thank you.